During his lifetime, Gene Meacham of Kingfisher photographed crying babies, unruly pets, graduations, and weddings. He was the man with the camera at local sporting events and school functions. He was even called from his bed on many sad occasions to photograph car accidents and crime scenes. His photography career began during World War II. Meacham had served in the National Guard, but due to one bad eye and an injury to the remaining good eye, he was honorably discharged. He and his sweetheart, Jerry Thomas, decided to get married. He had gone to a special school in Chicago to learn the tricks of the photography trade when Uncle Sam came calling. I got a notice from the draft board in Kingfisher while I was going to school telling me I'd been drafted. I told them to transfer my papers to Chicago, and they did, said Meacham. The school condensed my coursework, so I graduated in time to leave. Meacham entered the Army and flew on reconnaissance missions through India and Burma using his new skills to capture aerial photographs of enemy movements. He developed and delivered the spy photos, enabling U.S. forces to successfully plan their next move. Following the war, Gene returned to Kingfisher. After hundreds of military flights, his family says to this day he hates flying. Meacham returned home from India as a decorated soldier in 1945. He and Jerry immediately started their family, eventually having five children. The Meachams lived in Colorado for several years while Gene worked in a studio learning his craft. Jerry stayed home to raise their children. Meacham remembered one bitterly cold January day when some mysterious strangers walked into the studio in Manitou Springs where he worked. Can you take some pictures of us, they asked. Meacham said the men did not identify themselves and would not divulge when, where, or what they wanted photographed. The only requirement of the four men was that Gene must be ready with his equipment when they called within 10 minutes. The day finally came. They had us take pictures of some special equipment they were using and they wanted to have the whole process photographed. They were operating a huge smeltery. They were smelting gold bars for Fort Knox. The real Fort Knox, says Gene. We saw three gold bars being born that day. One worth 32000 one worth 44000 and the biggest was worth $48,000. Meacham moved his family back to Kingfisher in 1958 and opened Meacham Studio, which he operated with Jerry until their retirement in 1990. The couple worked side by side all those years in their successful business, raising their children in a historic two-story home in Kingfisher. His beloved Jerry passed away eight years ago. Jean still resides in Kingfisher with his five children. Jean has also been blessed with 12 grandchildren, 22 great-grandchildren, and one great-great-grandchild. We like to call him Peepaw.